does have a digital map tracking snow-covered roads throughout the state. You see all that purple? Yes, those are roads that are that IDOT says are completely covered with snow right now, and it has been that way all day. We have had crews out and about all day keeping an eye on those conditions. One of those journalists, our investigative reporter Renee Cooper, live from Neal Street in Champaign right now. Renee, what did you see out there? Well, Jennifer, I'm telling you, it's been a little bit tough to wait for my turn, this newscast. Uh, it's, it's pretty chilly out here, and chilly is probably an understatement. Look, there's not that many cars out on the road right now. Of course, I say that, and a few are coming by this way as I speak. Um, and they're moving pretty freely here, but again, the wind has just been blowing, so these plow drivers coming through, that snow is continuously blowing back over and back over, um, making these roads pretty treacherous. Now, I drove I-74 for most of the morning and some of this afternoon and in the about 11 miles between Champaign and Muhammad we saw around 10 tractor trailers pulled off on the side of the road. I also caught up with a man who had just gotten off the interstate ahead of us. He was about a block away from his home in Muhammad and that's where he'll stay for the next couple of days. I'm crazy. What can I say? <laughs> Nobody needs to be out on them. I mean they're there's numerous semis between here and Champaign in the ditch already. I counted two vehicles besides semis. Now headed back east around noon, we saw a jackknife tractor trailer blocking off westbound traffic entirely. State police say there were several trucks that caused that blockage, so traffic was diverted off at Prospect Avenue. Now, moments before I stepped out here this evening, that was reopened, and that was about a four and a half hour closure in total that just now has been cleared. And I, I tell you what, it's just the moral of the story today is if you're not essential, if it's not essential for you to be on the road, don't be. There's no need for it. In fact, uh, my photographer and I got stuck on the off ramp coming off prospect today off of I-74 coming back from seeing that crash. Uh, thankfully, his he was skilled in maneuvering us out of there. But again, uh, if you don't have to be out here, certainly don't do that. Live out on Neal Street, I'm Renee Cooper, WCIA 3, your local news leader. They are definitely skilled at that. The plow right behind you, Renee, at that moment, working hard. All right, thank you so much.